Yo, what's up guys? I know it's been a while, it's been a while. Um, I'm back, you know what I'm saying? I took some time off just to, you know, gather my thoughts, try to figure out where I want to take this channel, take some time to myself and things like that. So I figured I'd update you all on what's been going on, what's been going on with my life, what's new, what's the same. I know some of you all follow me on Instagram and TikTok, so I have been creating videos there. And I've been doing a few videos on YouTube Shorts to see how those are doing. But in the content creator space, it's a little bit different these days. You know, people is liking long, short form videos more and long form videos is taking a hit. But you know, I'm gonna still try to do both on this channel um, I'm gonna still try to make sure that um, you know I'm offering uh, versatile uh, content to the updates you know first update um, I'm pretty sure you already know all the stuff is in my house I'm pretty much good with my house I did a house tour um, for my black voices project so you can go on my channel and check that out if you want to see it uh, but yeah everything i'm settled into my house you know i'm loving it it's great um so that's update number uh, i guess number i guess that's not an update most of you all probably know that two uh your boy got inducted into the emerging 100 of atlanta if you don't know what the emerging 100 is basically it is a young black male professionals group um here in atlanta it is a auxiliary of um 100 black men of America technically 100 black men of Atlanta chapter um, and we specialize on mentoring um, bringing programs to the community to help our youth help mentor help be um, you know great role models to some of the young um, young people in Atlanta so um, got inducted into that uh, I'll drop some videos for you all to see that too Um, if you haven't been following me on social media, I, I hope y'all have been following me on social media because that's where I keep the majority of my updates and stories and stuff like that. I've still been posting on there, so make sure you check that out. Other than that, I concluded the Black Voices uh, fun class. So, you know, now should be the class of 2023. They should be, you know, rolling in now. So that was a great experience. Um, I did a video about that too. Um, other update, I'm in a relationship now. Your boy got a girl, you know what I'm saying? That's going great. Um, what else? I feel like it's more updates. Nah, still at Google, you know, still doing my thing at Google, still doing tech recruiting for early career candidates. Um, I'm trying to see what all I'm missing or if I'm missing anything. Another update, your boy have been um, in the gym. I've been in the gym consistently, you know, trying to make sure that I maintain my health, try to make sure that I stay healthy. Um, gained a couple pounds, you know what I'm saying? So your boy is in the gym doing his thing. I don't know if y'all can tell, you know, probably not. But I did have, I, I am gaining a couple pounds, you know, so that's been great. And also the gym to me, it's a way to get away from the busy scaries of life and, and, and what's going on and all the things that's going on in the world i just put my headphones in you know do my thing get on out finish up the rest of my life and the rest of my day um so yeah been doing that that's been great and i'm getting close to y'all here because i want to tell y'all something man i feel like content creation is taking a change taking a pivot if you want to say if we if, if you will i feel like there's so many content creators and so many people trying to make money off content creation that the love of content creation is getting sucked out is more so people want to be content creators because they see money they see it could be lucrative they see that they could potentially live a different lifestyle which is okay but i haven't seeing too many new content creators that is genuinely creating content because they love to create content or genuinely creating content because they're trying to help out in the area educate it's a lot of people just following trends dancing talking about celebrities bringing up hype videos it's just i miss the days where content creation was authentic and genuine and that's what i really want to make sure that i maintain on this channel and that's why you know it's hard for me to just think about just taking that leap of faith to full-time content creation because i know 
that would then become my job and I'd be forced to keep doing brand deals, keep pitching things, keep trying to keep up with the trends and things like that and keep thinking about it when now it's like I can think about content creation when I want to, I cannot think about it too. Like I can live my life without content creation and be perfectly fine and that's what I enjoy. But I think I'm able to be more authentic and genuine and personable on my channel because I'm not always pitching something. I'm not always selling something. I'm not always, you know, looking for funds and 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 of course more funds is, is great, but that's not always the goal. So content creation is taking a turn, you know what I'm saying? But it's still room out there for people to create and it's still room out there for everyone. So just want to say that. I just feel like life has been going fast this year. Uh, well, this past year, it's a new year now, but you know, I just wanted to take some time away, not feel pressure to create content, not feel pressure to upload a video every single week. Um, now it's kind of just like, you know, I'm gonna create a video when I have an idea, when I feel like it, or when I have time, um, instead of just trying to force things out, um, just to try to keep up with the trends or just to try to um, keep the algorithm uh, going with me in mind. Uh, I, just, I just think now in my career, creative career, I'm more so just trying to make sure that I'm doing things because I wanna do them, not just because I need to create need to adhere to my audience and things of that nature so that's what i've been doing i'm not quitting uh i'm still going to be producing videos this year um but you know it's always good to take a step back to evaluate how can you change your content what can you do to upgrade what can you do to continue to bring quality content to your subscribers and those who support you so um that's what i've been doing you know I, of course i still want to do self-development videos do a few vlogs here and there i'll talk a little bit about minimalism i still practice minimalism um, as well um, so you know it's just those are things that my channel really encompasses so um been thinking about different ways to add new things but honestly you know this channel is about me so anything that i add is just me um, doing those things uh, i know some people have been asking about like relationship advice and things like that that's not really my area uh, maybe if I, you know, do a collab or something, I might add some other opinions, but that's not really my area on YouTube. Um, but happy to answer relationship questions. If you DM me or something like that, cool with that. But I don't envision, you know, bringing relationship advice onto this channel. Um, I do have the Corey Jones show channel if you haven't subscribed to that um, i haven't had guests on there in a while i'm trying to figure out if i want to repurpose that channel um because the primary problem with that is you know it's a video podcast and i don't just want anyone in my home so of course i want to invite guests that i don't know and don't have a relationship with but the problem comes when I don't want them people in my house and that might sound bad, but you know, I'm very protective of the energy that I bring into my home. So, um, I'm trying to repurpose that. So if y'all have any ideas of what I could do with the Corey Jones show channel, or if there's any videos that I don't do on here that I should do on there, hey, maybe I could do relationship videos on there. Maybe that could be the Corey Jones show. I don't know, but I'm trying to repurpose it. But if y'all have any ideas, let me know in the comment section. I feel like I would need a separate space outside of my home in order to invite guests to a set and things like that for the Corey Jones show. So that's not in my near future right now. So um, I'm trying to think about repurposing that. Um, but yeah, you know, life is good. I'm happy. I'm, I'm enjoying life. I'm excited to see what 2023 is going to bring. I'm excited to see um, what new happens, what accomplishments I, I have. You know, I'm still trying to get to 100K subscribers. I know that was a goal for last year. But didn't quite happen, but hey, we're going to get there slowly but surely so if you haven't shared my channel with any of your friends family members whoever neighbors go ahead share share my videos share my channel help your boy out you know i'm also looking to be more um honed in on you know brand deals typically in the past i really kind of waited for brands to come to me but this year i'm actually going to you know put myself out there more as far as like pitching more I have done in the past but this time I just want to pitch it more and um, 
see what happens from there. I'm also going to be coming out with a cohort too. It's gonna to be like a creator's cohort, um, just to kind of get 20 people, maybe 20 to 30 people um, in this cohort who are passionate about creating, passionate about growing, passionate about you know becoming the best creator they can possibly be. Um, and just share some of the, my tips and knowledge that I've had in the game from being a YouTube next up in 2019, Black Voices creator in 2022, Adobe creator, um, creator camp uh, participant like I've been in a lot of programs myself and I've seen other creators I've collaborated I've talked to I've talked to brands I've talked to people that's over brands like I have a lot of knowledge I think the knowledge that I have can really help um, a good bit of people so I'm going to be coming out with a cohort it will be paid um, still trying to figure out a price there but it'll be slots for 20 to 30 people um and it'll be a three-month program we'll meet twice a month going over different things that i've learned answering your questions and things of that nature and hopefully that it helps your creative journey um soar to the next level that's part of me i've always been the type of person where i love service i love giving back i love offering knowledge i love helping out as much as possible um so that's a way that i'm going to try to help you all out who are creators or if you know any creators that just starting or haven't started and looking to start and want to be prepared i think that cohort um program will be great haven't came up with a name yet haven't came up really with a price i do have the curriculum i do have the topics i just have to flesh some things out but hey it's coming soon so be on the lookout for that it's gonna be cool one-on-one -on -one time with your boy it's gonna be live it's gonna be great other updates i think that's it for now you know like i said i'm trying to going i'm trying to going to <laughs> i'm going to um definitely take you all with me more try to vlog some more do have a couple of trips coming up so i'm planning on vlogging some of those and you know just you know trying to continue to create but not feel pressure to create like you know how a lot of creators typically feel um and i think it's good for me because content creation for me is a love i love content creation it's more so uh, a side thing that i do but i also know where it can be lucrative at the same time but i do enjoy my full-time job at google um, i don't think i want to give away my full-time job and security just yet for content creation um, i think for me i like stability i like knowing how much money i'm going to make each month i have to feel like i have to grind to keep pitching brands and take any brand because i need to make ends meet that's not what i am vision for this channel and for my content creation journey as of right now so yeah I'm going to continue to balance both as long as I can um, and again if y'all have any topics uh, that I should cover you know my channel again is self-development lifestyle and minimalism a little bit of vlogs as well so if there's anything that I can help you with or anything that I haven't covered that you would want me to cover let me know because we need i need your input as well but thank y'all for supporting that's my quick update more videos coming soon and i'll catch y'all in the next video peace